What happens if you drink water with salt every day? Have you ever heard about the benefits or risks of drinking water with salt every day? Or is it okay to drink salt water every day? Salt water has been touted as a miracle drink with many health benefits. But what are they? And how much salt water do you need to drink every day for the best results? Today, we explore the science behind this age-old remedy and look at some of the potential benefits of drinking salt water. So, let's jump right in. Number 1. Hydration It's a common misconception that salt water will make you more thirsty and lead to dehydration. In fact, salt water can actually help to keep the body hydrated. When you sweat, your body loses not only water, but also electrolytes which are minerals that help to balance fluids in the body. Drinking salt water helps to replenish these electrolytes and prevents dehydration. Additionally, salt water has a higher osmotic pressure than plain water, which means that it can help to draw water into the cells and hydrate the body more effectively. So the next time you're sweating it out at the beach or working out in the heat, reach for a bottle of salt water rather than plain old H2O. Number 2. Electrolyte Balance We all know how important it is to drink enough water, but many people are unaware that minerals with an electrical charge, i.e. electrolytes, also play a crucial role in hydration on a cellular level. An adult's body is made up of around 60% water, and a large percentage of that is found inside of our cells, where it's used in metabolic processes. Without enough water, Cells quite simply cannot function properly, and they require an electrical charge to maintain the correct balance of fluids inside and outside of their membranes. A charge that electrolytes provide. Electrolytes also help power the nervous system and muscles, as well as maintaining a balanced pH level and normal blood pressure. Drinking salt water daily can help maintain electrolyte balance due to its sodium and chloride content. Sodium and chloride are two primary electrolytes that are found in salt, and they are crucial for regulating fluid balance and maintaining proper hydration levels in the body. When you drink salt water, the sodium and chloride ions are absorbed into the bloodstream through the gastrointestinal tract. This helps to replenish electrolytes that are lost through sweating, urination, and other bodily processes. By maintaining adequate electrolyte levels, salt water can help prevent dehydration, muscle cramps, and other symptoms that are associated with electrolyte imbalances. However, it's important to consume salt water in moderation, as excessive intake can lead to electrolyte imbalances and potential health risks. Number 3. Blood Pressure Control Drinking salt water daily may not necessarily control blood pressure, and in fact, excessive salt intake can contribute to hypertension, high blood pressure, in some individuals. Salt water contains sodium chloride, commonly known as table salt. Sodium is a mineral that plays a crucial role in various bodily functions, including fluid balance and nerve function. However, excessive sodium intake can lead to fluid retention and increased blood volume, which can raise blood pressure levels. It's important to note that individuals vary in their sensitivity to salt, and some people may be more prone to developing hypertension in response to high salt intake than others. Factors such as genetics, age, weight, and overall health status can influence how the body responds to salt consumption. While small amounts of salt are necessary for health, it's essential to consume it in moderation. The American Heart Association recommends limiting sodium intake to no more than 2,300 mg per day, with an ideal limit of 1,500 mg per day for most adults, especially those with high blood pressure or at risk for cardiovascular disease. Number 4. Thirst Quenching Drinking salt water daily may initially quench thirst due to its electrolyte content. Electrolytes play a crucial role in facilitating the absorption of water in the body. Sodium, in particular, helps retain water in bloodstream and cells, 
preventing excessive water loss through urine or sweat. By drinking salt water, you may enhance hydration and satisfy thirst more effectively than drinking plain water, especially in situations where electrolyte losses are significant, such as intense physical activity or sweating. Some people find salt water more palatable than plain water, especially if they're accustomed to consuming beverages with a salty taste. Adding a small amount of salt to water can improve its flavor and make it more enjoyable to drink, which may encourage increased fluid intake and help satisfy thirst. In addition, in certain situations where plain water is not readily available, such as during outdoor activities or emergencies, Drinking salt water can help prevent dehydration by providing a source of both water and electrolytes. However, it's essential to be mindful of salt intake and avoid excessive consumption as it can lead to electrolyte imbalances and other health risks. While salt water may offer temporary relief from thirst and provide electrolyte replenishment, it's crucial to maintain a balanced approach to hydration and consume salt water in moderation. Number 5. Kidney Support Drinking salt water daily may not necessarily support kidney function, and in fact, excessive salt intake can strain the kidneys and increase the risk of kidney-related complications. While sodium is an essential electrolyte that helps to regulate fluid balance and nerve function in the body, excessive sodium intake can increase the workload on the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for filtering excess sodium from the blood and excreting it through urine. Drinking salt water daily can elevate sodium levels in the bloodstream, leading to increased sodium excretion by the kidneys. The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining fluid balance by regulating the amount of water that's excreted through urine. When sodium levels in the blood are high, the kidneys work harder to remove excess sodium, which can also lead to increased water excretion. While this process helps maintain electrolyte balance, excessive fluid loss through urine can contribute to dehydration and strain the kidneys over time. Moreover, excessive salt intake can increase the risk of kidney stones, which are hard deposits of minerals and salt that form in the kidneys. Consuming too much salt can lead to the accumulation of calcium and other minerals in the urine, promoting the formation of kidney stones. Drinking salt water daily may exacerbate the risk by providing additional sodium chloride for the kidneys to filter. While salt water may offer temporary hydration and electrolyte replenishment, it's important to consume it in moderation and be mindful of its potential effects on kidney function. Individuals with kidney disease, or those at risk for kidney-related complications, should consult with a healthcare professional for personalized dietary recommendations. Number 6. Edema Prevention Drinking salt water daily can have both positive and negative effects on edema, fluid retention. When you consume more salt, your body tends to retain water. Sodium binds to water and helps maintain fluid balance inside and outside of your cells. If you frequently eat foods high in salt, such as many packaged foods, your body may retain excess water. But surprisingly, too little salt in your diet can also lead to swelling. Albumin, which is a nutrient that's made from protein, and salt work together to keep fluids in your circulatory system. While it's essential to avoid excessive salt intake, Completely eliminating salt is not recommended either. Striking a balance is crucial. Staying hydrated is essential. In hot and humid conditions where sweating leads to water and electrolyte loss, drinking salt water can help replace these losses and prevent dehydration. Edema can also be prevented along with the following strategies. Number 1. Limit salt. Reduce your overall salt intake by avoiding processed foods and packaged snacks. Number 2. Elevate legs. Elevate the affected part of your body above your heart several times a day to reduce swelling. Number 3. Magnesium and vitamin B6. Consider increasing your magnesium intake, which is found in nuts, 
whole grains, and leafy greens. As well as your vitamin B6 intake, which regulates fluid balance, this will potentially help to reduce water retention. Remember, individual responses to salt intake can vary, so it's essential to find what works best for your body. Always consult with a healthcare provider for personalized advice. Number 7. Digestive Health Salt water, particularly when used in specific concentrations, has been used historically as a digestive aid and remedy for various gastrointestinal issues. Drinking water with a pinch of salt can help hydrate the body, which is essential for maintaining healthy digestion. Salt water contains electrolytes like sodium and chloride, which play crucial roles in digestion. These electrolytes help to maintain the body's pH balance, stimulate the production of stomach acid and digestive enzymes, and facilitate the absorption of nutrients in the intestines. Moreover, salt water has been used in practices like salt water flushes or saline gargles to help cleanse the digestive system. These methods involve drinking or rinsing with saline solution to flush out toxins, bacteria, and other impurities from the digestive tract. Some people find that drinking warm salt water can help alleviate symptoms of indigestion, bloating, and gas. The warmth of the water may soothe the stomach, while the salt content may aid in digestion by promoting the release of digestive juices. How to make it and when to use it. In the morning, add a pinch of salt to a glass of water and drink on an empty stomach. Finer Himalayan salt will dissolve more easily than coarser varieties. In conclusion, while drinking water with salt may offer certain benefits, it's crucial to consume it in moderation and consider its potential risks. As with any dietary practice, balance and moderation are key. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.